Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. There's something in here to do. Why are they still question marks? I th why are you still saying that? I'm pretty sure you, we've d dealt with your problem. Right. Oh no, you're over here. Take the Kadara sample back to, back to the Forte. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We've got stuff over here. Journalist. And whatever you are. You're welcome. Hey, Lexi, you're right there. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Man, no offense. It's just... Just what? You don't seem like you're having fun. <sighs> I grew up on Omega. You'd think I'd know how to drink. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. <sighs> you didn't answer my question. Is that how you think I see you? You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Ah, oh, Lexi. Right, Liam, why are you here? Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs it. All right, you're just chilling. Fair enough. No one else in here to talk to. Right, let's go find out what else is going on. Got the. Oh yes, hello. I don't know about these Angara. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. Hello. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara. And now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. There we go. You there, fella? Ah, oh, yes. Hello. You! You're the Pathfinder! Thank you so much for returning the no-shy to us. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural centre. He'd be honoured to speak with you. I shall go talk with him in a bit. Kerry, how you doing? First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one. The Exiles. Probably the most live wire topic for our leaders. 
You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the exiles are a menace to be eradicated. <sighs> the exiles have as many problems as the initiative. Not every outlaw wants us dead. Wow, it's almost heresy to hear that the exiles are anything but filthy, well, exiles. Sorry, I have to cut this short. I need to prep for a meeting. Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Hopefully. Those ships were grounded for so long. Dock manager, hello. I stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Important stuff. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the exiles. If you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out of place packages, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. Hi, Excellent stuff. Oh, hey, Vetra, are you just chatting? You're just hanging around? I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? I'm sure he would have, to be with you guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. Alright, and the Angara representative is in here? Oh no, it's you. Hello. Safely home, thanks to you and your skills. I've learned a great deal. It was fun to really test myself out there. <laughs> Spoken like a soldier. Your performance was exemplary, Ryder. I can see clearly why your N7 would be the best of the best. If you tire of being a Pathfinder, I'd be honored to call you a Brother Heskal. Yay! Hey, Joel. Ryder, I just read the most fascinating histories about the conflict between the Geth and their Quarian creators. I feel like the Angara and the Quarians have so much in common. Really? How? We are both displaced, struggling against cruel enemies to save our home worlds. But the cat just showed up here. That's not your fault. The Quarians created the Geth. Home is home. When home is not safe, the heart is sick from yearning. Okay, so where is this? All right, so we still need to talk to her. Have I have I already spoken to this Angaran? Hello again. What do you think of the Angara? I'm thrilled to meet a new culture. They're cautious, but I understand why. If someone showed up on our doorstep in the Milky Way, we'd be skeptical too. I hope we can win them over. Cement a friendship. I suppose that's on you, Pathfinder. You have no idea what would happen to the Milky Way, and you're lucky not to. Thanks. Of course. All right. Is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Yeah, guess I've already uh, spoken to the, their ambassador. Fair enough. All right, let's talk to this person. Such a harsh cluster. Why is it telling me you're downstairs? My model of Helios blossoms with data thanks to you. Here, please. You have earned this. Yay, thank you. Not sure what you gave me, but I'll take it. Right, 
Okay, looks like I'm all done here. Oh no. Oh yeah, crates. Somebody's stealing supplies. I need to put a stop to it. Busy, busy, busy. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. All right, search the Hyperter uh, Hyperion deck and the cryo bay. Fair enough. Right. Habitation deck first. And, and we need to talk to Captain Dunn as well, don't we? Authorities have no word on completion and, and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Another cache of stone and supplies, alerting the dock manager. I also have more memories to look at. That's okay, guys. I'll Thanks, Beth. Nah, just caught up in my own thoughts. Got a lot of them. But I'll see you on the Tempest, huh? Sure thing, kid. <sighs> Hello, PB. Hey, Ryder. Taking a stroll? Something like that? I just wandered over from the Nexus myself. That place bores me. Been there, done that? You get me. I spent over a year stuck there. Well, when I wasn't exploring Eos. And I know things are getting better. More lively. But there are too many bad associations. I probably won't hang out there much. Fair enough. Captain Dunn, how are you doing? Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. They exposed the whole station to a potentially contagious illness? Yes. We need to keep this quiet and handle it fast. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. What a dumbass. All right, Sam, we've got some memories to look at. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for cloak and dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish, Sam. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Shadow Broker, maybe? Who was that? The Benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. 
Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day. It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that? We'll still have each other, but we want you. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. Where's Scott? And remember, fall in love at least once. I'll let you guys talk. Say it, Alec. All right, okay. <laughs> then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in N7? When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. Everything ends. Life, stars, galaxies. They all die eventually. It's just how things work. Yet it appears this belief serves as a form of motivation for many organic life forms. It's why you exist. Dad hoped you could save her. And I failed. Nobody can conquer death. Not you, not my dad. It was fate. And yet, paradoxically, at that moment I gained a greater understanding of life. In what way? The depth of feeling your father had for Ellen. He didn't show it very often. A fact which he regretted. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. All right. Let's head uh, in here. See what's see what's going on. Your father's personal logs. Benefactor. Here we go. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jen Garson, who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess she ends the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. All right. We need to find more triggers. 
Right, let's head to the cryo bay now. Oh, I can't wait to go to Aya. Hello. Pathfinder, I hear the Angaran planet Aya is a paradise. We finally found a lush world. When do we start moving in? These things take time. There's not much room on Aya, and we're still proving ourselves to them. But we need to find lush planets of our own. For all of us. True. But hey, at least now we know one exists, right? I know you'll do it. Keep up the good work, Pathfinder. I certainly shall, and thank you. Thank you, citizen. Alright. You're not doing a very good job with that door. I mean, what if the bad guys come up behind you? My Lazy. Team. What? All right, let's get to the fridge. A ray of hope for sleep-starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sunlamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. Oh, we're close. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. There we go. Oh, well, that's that all done. This is not good. Damned exiles. I'm already I've already spoken to you. Hey, Doc. Good you're here. Done briefed you. High level only. Said to speak with you for the full brief. Great. Well then, here we go. Before we left, my medtech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage and she's off grid. She's a problem. Great. What should I know about this TH314? Stage 1 symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage 2 is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage 3. Airborne, the works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage 1. If she progresses to stage 3, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. <sighs> we need to make sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. I want to put her well-being above all else, but we have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. All right. Let's go find this walking time bomb. Never rains, but it pours. Residents are still mourning the loss of Chief Garston. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the scourge. An official tribute is planned, though Director Jaren Tan has provided a few details so far. Because the immigration officer in the docking area. Pretty sure that's over here. I need to talk to Tan as well. Hello. Scott Ryder. Hi, welcome to the Nexus. Let me check the database and wait, you're already approved. And you're a Pathfinder. Um, uh, hi? Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Have you seen Ruth Becker? Yes, I have. Why are you asking? She's a friend. I wanted to check on her before I head back out. Of course I can help. 
She said she wanted to catch up with friends. Now let me see. Yes, Ruth Becker. Tried to set me up with her nephew. It was cute. Anything else that you can remember? I restricted her access to the common area because there were problems with her file. I sorted things out, then messaged her to let her know she was clear. Thank you. Restricted access, huh? Sam, can you do anything with that? Yes. I believe I can help you retrace her steps, at least during that time. Ruth Becker was here, Pathfinder. You can trace her with your scanner. Alright, here we go. Uh, hey, now what? Hi, I'm Gia Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through immigration processing and you have to on your way. Right, so I need to find all of her I'm previous locations. Okay, it is actually going to tell me where she went, and I just have to scan that area. Here we go. But where would she have gone? Operations, maybe? I doubt she would have gone back to the Hyperion. Still telling me to go back that way, but as we're here first. Can I talk to you, Ryder? Oh, Sid, hello. Good that you're here, Ryder. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. Multiple attacks by people called the Three Sabres. They're hitting outposts and supply vessels. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. What are you saying? That someone's feeding them info? Maybe. It would be really bad if that were true, right? I've reported it, and they say they'll investigate, but then forget. But you're the Pathfinder. If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something about it. If they seem to know our operations, that could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Best Pathfinder ever. I don't know where they hide. But I got the nav points for their most recent raids. Maybe the Tempest scanners can figure out where they went. Alright, cool. So we've got that to do now. Something over there. Something over here. Oh no, over there. God, there's a few things to do. Jesus. Hello again. It's just not fair. 
You're right there. Excuse me, Pathfinder. I don't know where else to turn. My best friend's been missing since the revolts. Tell me. He was involved with a woman who was exiled. She obsessed over him, and I'm sure she kidnapped him. But the powers that be don't buy it and don't care. <laughs> they say most likely he went willingly. Love can make us do strange things. He didn't love her. She was just a fling. The initiative has branded him a traitor. I don't want that to be his legacy. I want to clear his name. Sanjeev Clement. The woman was Delaney Roos. She must have taken him to Kadara. I'll see what I can do. I'm in your debt. <sighs> hey, Ten. I see you've crossed paths with Sloane Kelly and the Exiles. A thorn in our side, if ever there was one. I don't think anyone came all the way to Andromeda to live like that. The Nexus was part of this, too. It's about the future, Ryder. What sort of civilization will we form in Helios? One driven to extremes of anarchy, or one dedicated to order and justice? I choose the latter. Sloane Kelly and her mutineers chose otherwise. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Cash might listen. But no, we're alone. Why do you ask? I have information that suggests Garson wasn't the only one. What sort of information? It's complicated, but there was a silent partner. A benefactor. Even if that were true, we've been here 14 months with no sign of them. This partner is either a phantom, missing, or dead. No, nope, Gian Garson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, death was everywhere. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Yes. Very suspicious. Ryder. If you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. Well, thank you, Sam. Stop giving me that option. I don't want to look at that. Right, yeah, you're, you're over there. Let's pop over here first. There's a priority mission, apparently. Oh, it's you. Pathfinder Rider. Hello. What's going on? Why are you whispering? I'm planning a surprise for Superintendent Kesh. She's always complaining that our stock of spirits is tame. I hear Kadara Port is paying <clears throat> us for bizarre homebrews. Supposedly pack a powerful bunch. Hoping you can pick some up and keep it quiet. I'll see if I can find some. Excellent. Oh shit. Fair enough. Hey, Cash. Do you have anything? Worry about this place if we can't find you. Then we defend the station. It's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. And be careful out there. I only have one of you. First contact, huh? Last one of any note was when your people stumbled over that relay. If they can trade us materials that'll help fix the Nexus, I'm good with it. Nothing more for now. See you later. All right. Okay. Nothing more with you. Fair enough. Might be more once we get to the Krogan Colony. Okay. What are we looking? Wait. Uh, Andromeda Initiative founder Jen Carson has been reported missing. She was last seen during the emergency 
uh, stasis revival that occurred after the Scourge encounter. A bulletin has been issued. Update to the missing persons report filed on Jean Carson. Uh, maintenance crew found her body in a Nexus apartment. Severe burns w were apparent, similar to others we saw who were killed during Scourge disaster. It's unclear how she got there, but confusion and disorientation during the Scourge event are likely. Events align with the timeline. Course of death, casualty of Scourge disaster, case closed. Hmm. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. All right, we'll get on that after we've found out what's happened. Oh, she went to the docking bay? That would make sense. Oh, she's gone off world, hasn't she? Uh, oh. Of course, that makes Your sense. Can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Well, I've already scanned you. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Has Ruth Becker been here? Never heard of her. Excuse me, have you seen Ruth Becker by any chance? I don't know who that is, sorry. Drinks are fizzing tonight. Hi, I'm Scott Ryder. Did you see or talk to Ruth Becker by any chance? Later, Val. You're looking for Ruthie. She was here earlier. Helped me sort out some paperwork. Don't know what I would have done without her. How's she settling in? Did she seem okay? She looked fine. Happy to be here. Is everything okay? Charlie's fine, right? It would destroy her if anything happened to him. Everything's fine. I just need to talk to her. All right, then. Oh, good. I was worried for a moment. She should be in ops somewhere. Wanted to check in on someone. Terran, I think. Thank you. All right. Now we've got that. Concerned citizen, what do you want? Shoot. You've been to Gadara. You've seen the exiles there. They used to be with us. Friends, family, co-workers. A lot of us worry about them. We hear it's chaos, that it's dog-eat-dog. -dog. It's hard living. They have to watch their backs and do whatever it takes to survive. So scary. Despite what happened, my heart goes out to them. Thank you for taking the time. You're welcome. Right, Nexus Ops. Oh, stop sending me there. Right. Well, we're here. The only place I know where there are apartments is this way, so... Here we go. This one? This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But, wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open until the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. Uh 
A hidden door. What do we have here? This is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code you mentioned for the VI kiosk. Uh, 2179 once mentioned, a storm is coming, said evidence was clear, meaning Andromeda, why, Hyperion still no contact, where is Alec, did they get him too? Hmm. Murder most foul. Alright, let's go. Talk to her VI. No, we do for time. Oh, blimey. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? I'm Welcome. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Jean Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but... I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. What did that mean? Something big in the Milky Way. Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. Yeah. Guess I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. And we all know what that big thing in the Milky Way was. The Reapers. Means the Andromeda Initiative was merely a means of survival and not just about exploration. Hostage crisis in hydroponics ended after Nexus security forcibly removed protesters, resulting in numerous injuries. Tensions reached a boiling point after protesters complained their families were being kept in stasis in favor of sleepers with political connections. This is HNS. All right, where's this Terion guy up here? Right. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Hello, can I help you with anything? Hi, my name's Ryder. You're Terran, right? Yeah. What's going on? I'm looking for Ruth Becker. Was she here? She was here not long ago. She didn't look so good, though. She did just get unthawed. She's bound to be less than stellar. I don't think this was Stasis sickness. She was nervous, kept looking around. She talked about keeping her nephew safe. She ran off mid-sentence. We were talking about the shuttles. Uh, maybe she went to the docks? I'll check it out. Thanks. Uh -oh. Sam, paranoia defines stage two of TH314, right? Correct. The virus becomes highly contagious in stage three. If she gets off the station, the risks of a pandemic increase greatly. Yay. Ryder, we have a problem. A shuttle was stolen after a dock worker was attacked. From the description he gave me, it was Ruth. Well, that's not good. No, she's definitely in stage two. Go speak with that dock worker. It's very... Well, I didn't catch that last bit, and I don't know why. This is definitely one of the issues that needs to be fixed in a remaster, I aware.
Uh, where's this dot worker? Over here. Did you hear about this before? Are you sure? We should really yeah. get medical to check you out. Can you tell me what happened here? I was here fixing a shuttle when this woman came out of nowhere. She whacked me over the head and took the shuttle. Nearly fried me taking off. Any idea where she went? Uh, I bet she didn't log a destination with control before blasting off. This is crazy. What's going on? Why would she do that? Nothing you need to worry about. Oh, good. Random person beats me about the head, but nothing to worry about. Anything else you can tell me? I blow torch the hell out of the hole when she hit me. She'll leave a radiation trail a click wide. That's good. Very good. I can work with that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam, our scanners can track the shuttle's emission trail, right? Suvi confirms. Look, we can contain a colony outbreak if need be, but if she contacts an Angara, find her, Ryder. Whatever happens, she can't land anywhere near the Angara. Right, back to the Tempest we go. We also picked up some additional missions. Because of course we have. Uh, by the time we've uh, caught up to Ruthie, that should bring this episode to a close. Ryder, Liam's looking for you. Uh, Liam will have to wait, unfortunately. Sorry, Liam. Contagion. All right, oh, okay, all the way over here in a system I haven't explored yet. Very useful. Tecunis. Why does that sound familiar? They named it after the Tecunis expedition, the first Salarians to reach the Citadel. It's a big name to live up to. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Sam sent me the data on that shuttle. I've set up our scanners to track it. Just say the word. All right. This radiation trail matches the shuttle we're tracking. Okay. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Anomaly found. As we're here, we'll, let's get these planets scanned. Ooh, a comet. Platinum! Yes! Thank you. We'll have my N7 armor. Right, that's it. That's you scanned. Oh, you're a big one. Right, that's you scanned. All well, these planets are kind of the same, all a bit dull and grey. I'm picking up something. Okay, what have you got for me? Oh, it looks deploying probe. Promising with what it mineral deposit uh would have preferred platinum but i'll take it i'm 
picking up something. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. All right, cool. Music keeps stopping as well for another thing that could probably get fixed in a remaster. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Bioware. Oh, there we go, it's back. All right, that's this system done. Uh, right, there's a, I was hoping to avoid coming here. Oh, never mind. Probably won't land on Elodin yet. Careful. Word is there's pirates all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. Anomaly detected. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. What? Okay. Not really what I was scanning for, though. Here you are. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. Radiation is a match. She went this way, all right. Ruth, you need to stop. Can't keep ch chasing you all over the galaxy. Deploying probe. I found something. A crevasse. Thank you. I am sure that is some kind of importance. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. I don't have much time left, so let's try and get these scans wrapped up. I'm not going to scan Elodin yet because I don't want to trigger something. So we'll get this planet scanned and then see if we can find Ruth. Alright, nothing to nothing to scan on you. Alright, sorry Elodin, you're gonna have to wait. Please be the last one. from the black hole are incredible out here. The song of the dark side of creation. Do black holes have sounds? I'm picking up something. Probe away. Getting a scan. Radiation trail is consistent with previous scans. This is our shuttle. Found. Uh, Starship wreckage. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have any more time to wrap this bit up, so I'm going to have to end this episode here. And she's over there. Right. So for now, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick for later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.